Terrifying moment at Hilltop Playground. This is out in Brooklyn. All happened last night. Gunfire rang out, striking two young girls. Yeah, those little girls were not the intended target. They are expected to be okay, but police are still looking for the gunman responsible. Good Day's Briella Tomasetti. She is live at that playground in Brownsville with the latest on this investigation. Briella. Yeah, Tashani and Dan, good morning to both of you. Those two victims, those young little girls were uh, shot here on this playground. Thankfully, they are conscious and alert this morning. But as you mentioned, police say two gunmen are still at large and they were seemingly looking for someone else. A barrage of gunfire rang out on a Brooklyn street last night, leaving two innocent children, just 9 and 11 years old, injured. Police say it happened just after 9 o'clock at a playground near Dean Street and Saratoga Avenue in Brownsville. The young girls were playing as one of their mothers watched from a park bench when they suddenly got caught in the crossfire. A preliminary investigation reveals that there were possibly two shooters that fired at least six rounds in the direction the children were playing. The 9-year-old was shot in the leg and the 11-year-old was shot in the back. Both were taken to Brookdale Hospital by family members to be treated for their injuries. The younger victim was later transported to Maimonides Hospital. Both girls are in stable condition. Detectives say they were unintended targets who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So at this time, we're exploring multiple avenues of possible motives for this type of incident, but we're not going to rule out gang-related incidents that are problematic to this particular area in Brooklyn. The double shooting comes amid a troubling trend of children falling victim to growing youth violence. Yesterday, we learned that a 12-year-old boy was arrested in connection with the death of 14-year-old Josiah Guy, who was shot and killed in an apartment in Brownsville on Sunday morning. He was charged with manslaughter, criminally negligent homicide, and criminal possession of a weapon. Police have not detailed the circumstances surrounding the shooting, but the New York Post has reported that the suspect is believed to be the victim's younger cousin. Some who live in the neighborhood, now plagued by at least two violent shootings in one week, are calling for more NYPD supervision. I'm, I'm angry, I'm upset, I'm hurt because there's local children that are in this park all the time. We want preventive. We're looking for preventive so this don't happen. Yeah, and here's something I want to point out now that it's light out and you can see uh, more of the playground. Police mentioned during yesterday's press conference that these pairs of shoes, uh, these Crocs, were left behind on the playground here as those kids, those children, ran away for safety when they heard those gunshots. And as you probably heard uh, during those remarks yesterday, police haven't identified a motive, but they are investigating whether the shooting is gang-related. Sources told the New York Post that the shooter were both seen riding scooters. For now, though, we're live here in Brownsville. Dan, we'll send it back to you. All right, Brayla, thank you very much. Still searching for those suspects in that shooting out in Brownsville, Brooklyn.